Unit 1. Changing Trends and Career in Physical Education At the end of this unit, you will be able to Recognize the concept of physical education Identify the aims and objectives of physical education Explore historical aspect of physical education in India Recognize various changing trends in sports Explore different career options in the field of physical education and Understand Khelo India and Fit India program Physical education is a process of shaping and molding an individual's personality, which is essential for growth and development. Physical education helps an individual control their environment and fulfill possibilities through games and sports. Concept, Aims and Objectives of Physical Education Physical education is a long-standing concept that has been used in various ancient periods, such as the Indus Valley Civilization, Vedic and Hindu periods. It was used for daily living activities such as searching food, protection from wild animals and traveling from one place to another. In Greece, Aristotle, Plato and Socrates' opinion was that physical training was essential for youngsters. In all over the world, People considered physical education as physical or military training only, but it is now a wide field of education, physical activities, training methodology, games and sports, research and technology to promote physical efficiency, healthy living and eating habits, healthy lifestyle etc. Aims of Physical Education Physical education aims to make individuals physically fit, mentally alert, emotionally balanced, socially well-adjusted, morally true, and spirit-uplifted. According to the Ministry of Education and National Planning for Physical Education and Recreation, the aim of physical education should be to make a child mentally, physically, and emotionally healthy and strong so that he she may develop personal and social traits, live in company of others happily, and become a good citizen. Objectives of Physical Education Objectives are the specific or concrete goal. They are steps or specific list of tasks that needed to be taken in order to reach the final aim. In simple words, objectives are the steps to be followed to achieve a specific aim. Aim of physical education is considered as overall development and objectives are the steps which will help in overall development such as physical, mental, social, emotional, spiritual development, etc. The objectives of physical education are Number 1. Physical Development Physical education is focused on physical development and how it helps to make the body healthy and strong. It also helps to increase heart rate, maintain blood pressure, blood glucose levels, and maintain a healthy body weight. Long-term exercise programs can help to prevent obesity and become fit and healthy. Number 2. Mental Development Physical education is important for mental development as it includes rules of game, principles, structures of body, balanced diet, healthy and disease-free body, and personal cleanliness. Participating in physical activities helps to sharpen the brain and reduce stress levels. Number 3. Soul Development This objective of physical education is related to social skills which are helpful in coordination. During a competition, players of different region come together on single platform. So, they learn cooperation, support, respect, good sportsmanship, etc. Through these skills, players can make their nation healthy and strong. Number 4. Emotional Development The objective of physical education is to make an individual emotionally healthy through physical activity. A man is endowed with different emotions, happiness, jealousy, hope, despair, joy, fear, loneliness, will and woe, etc. 
If they will not control these emotions then there will be no place for them in the society which can be harmful for them. Physical education program develop these emotions and teach us to control them. Number 5. Health Development The objective of physical education is to make the development of body. It promotes good and healthy habits and keeps away from harmful diseases. In the modern world, the programs of physical education reduce stress, tension and pressure in the human body so that his health may remain intact. Number 6. Motor Development Motor development refers to the development of a child's bones, muscles and ability to move around and manipulate his or her environment. These activities help in people's performing daily works such as sitting, walking, running, standing, climbing stairs, hold, pull and push, etc. And it also increases the power of muscles and flexibility of joints. These activities depend upon coordination of nervous system and muscular system. Number 7. Ethical Development Sports make the character of a person. Sports develop the feeling of courage, confident, discipline and sportsmanship. It is to be believed that physical education develops high moral values in people. Development of Physical Education in India Post-Independence The Government of India took steps to improve the condition of physical education after independence in 1947, setting up various organizations and introducing National Credit Corps NCC, and Auxiliary Credit Corps ACC, at school and college levels. The Central Advisory Board of Physical Education and Recreation CAPA, was set up in 1950 by Government of India. The board advised the government on various issues for the development of physical education in India. Various recommendations made by the board Development training of leaders in physical education Institution of scholarship for research in physical education Conduct of National Physical Efficiency Drive Conducting Seminar on Physical Education Providing Financial Assistance to the Colleges of Physical Education and Providing Directions to the State Governments for Affecting the Organization of Physical Education in their respective states Rajkumari Coaching Scheme This scheme was introduced by the Government of India in 1953 with the aim of training good athletes and sportsmen. The scheme received wide popularity since famous players like Major Dhyan Chand, Dr. Ram Singh were working under this scheme. All India Council of Sports Union Ministry of Education formed AICS in 1953 with the purpose of establishing a link between central government and various sports associations and federations. This council facilitates financial assistance to these federations and check proper utilization of funds. It worked on many programs to raise the standards of sports. National Discipline Scheme This scheme was introduced in 1954 by the Ministry of Rehabilitation under the guidance of General J. K. Honsley with the aim of building strong youth of the nation. The scheme inculcated discipline and imparted training in mass drill among the younger generation in the refugee camps and colonies. In 1958, this scheme was transferred to the Ministry of Education and was enlarged to cover a number of high schools. In 1956, a national syllabus of physical activities was formed. In 1957, Lakshmibai College of Physical Education, Gwalior was set up by the Government of India. The college started a three-year degree course in physical education. In 1973, the institute was given the status of national importance, therefore, it was renamed as Lakshmibai National College of Physical Education, LNCPE. In 1982, 
it was given the status of an autonomous college. In 1995, it was given the status of a deemed to be university and was again renamed as Lakshmibai National Institute of Physical Education, 9. Ad Hoc Inquiry Committee In 1958, Ad Hoc Inquiry Committee was set up to make an inquiry about India's poor performance and downward slide in Olympic Games. It suggested many ways to improve the standards of Indian competitions in all games and sports such as appropriate training and a special diet for players. Kunzaru Committee In 1959, Government of India appointed a Coordination Committee under the chairmanship of Dr. Hirdaya Math Kunjuru to examining the various schemes for physical education, recreation, character building and discipline operating in educational institutions and to recommend measure for the proper coordination. National Physical Efficiency Drive, NPED It was launched by Ministry of Education in 1959-1960 with the sole aim of motivating citizens to raise interest in physical fitness. The plan consisted of certain items of physical efficiency tests with prescribed standards for achievement. In 1961, according to the recommendations of the Ad Hoc Inquiry Committee of 1958, the National Institute of Sports, NIS, was established by the Government of India in 1961 at State Bab, Palins, Patiala. In 1973, this institute was renamed as Netaji Subhash National Institute of Sports, NSNIS. Call Kapoor Committee This committee consisted of two members of All India Council of Sports by Government of India. The committee analyzed Olympic Games held in Rome in 1961 and submitted its report in 1963. It set physical education as the base for the development of interest in games and sports. It considered physical education as a part of general education in schools and colleges. It should be one of the subjects in the universities for graduates. Kothari Commission This committee was constituted in 1964. As per this commission, Physical education not only aims at physical fitness but also has educational values. It contributes to physical efficiency, mental alertness and the development of certain qualities like perseverance, team spirit, leadership and obedience to rules. At the pre-primary and early primary stages, the syllabus should aim at developing among children the mastery over basic skills such as walking properly running, throwing, etc. At the secondary stage, the syllabus may contain sports, games and athletics in their standard form. After the primary stage, the syllabus should be planned separately for boys and girls. Rhythmic activities will have an appeal for girls, less strenuous games, such as badminton, throwball, etc. In 1965, Committee on Physical Education under the chairmanship of C.D. Deshmukh set up by University Grants Commission for removing inadequacies in and raising the standards of physical education. The committee examined the present facilities for the same in Indian universities and colleges. The committee suggested that the universities and colleges must be provided better infrastructural facilities and coaching programs. Sports Authority of India, SAI Asian Games were held successfully in New Delhi in 1982. After this, Department of Sports, Government of India formed Sports Authority of India on 25th January 1984. This organization was formed to increase and raise the standards of sports in India. The SAI undertook the responsibilities to maintain and utilize grounds which were constructed renovated for the 10th Asian Games held in 1982. It also implemented programs for achieving excellence in sports in different disciplines at international level. It also produces and manages sports coaches, 
educators and teachers and look out other issues such as promotion and management of sports. National Council of Educational Research and Training, NCERT The NCERT developed the national curriculum for elementary and secondary school in 1988. The health and physical education and sports included in the core curriculum. NCERT put form the revised curriculum for school education and in 1992 and its revised edition in November 2000 under the title National Curriculum Framework for School Education. In this curriculum include Health and Physical Education as one of the core subjects in all levels of school educations. Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports An independent ministry was made on 27 May 2000. It has two separate departments named Department of Youth Affairs and Department of Sports. The role of Department of Sports is to create the infrastructure and promote capacity building for broad-basing sports as well as for achieving excellence in various competitive events at the national and international levels. Changing trends in sports playing surface, wearable gears and sports equipment, technological advancements. Athletics requires a safe and sound playing environment with high-quality sports gears, equipments, courts and fields to perform at optimum level. Companies are developing innovative and high-quality products, and national and international federations have developed rules and regulations to ensure quality experience. Number 1. Playing Surface Sports surfaces are made up with a wide variety of safety and suitable materials for each sport, requiring physical activities and skills to play. To prevent injuries, it is important to ensure an athlete is playing on the right type of sporting surface. The different types of surfaces used in sports are Natural Turf Artificial Turf Wooden Surface Clay Coat and Hard Coat Natural Turf Natural Turf is widely used surface in India and all over the world for safe and sustainable play. It is a natural grass turf which is commonly used in games like football, hockey, cricket, rugby, softball, etc. The advantages of natural turf for athletic competition include a more natural game-playing experience with regards to ball roll and speed of play. It is also a good shock absorption which helps to prevent sports injuries. Generally, a natural turf surface dependent upon the health of the grass and soil. A good quality of soil, grass and proper drainage system helps to make natural turf fields durable and safe to play. However, a major downfall in natural turf is the significant resources, including time, manpower, and water, required to maintain safe, clean and consistent play field. Playing on natural turf causes damage to fields and makes it uneven. Therefore, it is difficult to maintain natural turf in multi-sport environment. It is also affected by environmental factors including temperature, rainfalls, and droughts. These factors led the development of artificial turf over the time. Artificial Turf Artificial turf is surface of synthetic fibers made up to look a natural grass. A artificial turf was first developed in the late 1960s as an alternative of natural grass for athletic competitions. It was first used in Major Baseball League in the Houston Astrodome in 1966. Nowadays, games like American football, Canadian football, field hockey, Cricket, rugby, etc. are playing on artificial turf. As compared to natural turf, artificial turf requires less maintenance and it is more durable which makes it cost-effective in longer term. But over a year's number of health and safety concerns are raised about artificial turf. Friction of skin on artificial turf cause abrasions, 
and burns at a greater extent as compared to natural turf. It can also get hot in extreme heat and for its periodic cleaning petroleum and other toxic chemical infill are used which raise some health and safety concerns issues. In terms of sports performance, it leads to better levels of muscle development and technical development. Players become more agile on artificial turf grounds and use or control the ball more efficiently. Wooden surface Wooden surface is used in indoor sports such as basketball, squash, volleyball, badminton, and handball. It is a natural and environment-friendly source and provides better than concrete or rubber surfaces for basketball and other games. Wooden floors are attractive, strong, durable, and provide high stability underfoot. They are also slip and skid resistant, helping athletes perform better during play. Wooden surfaces made up with maple wood, teak wood, vinyl pad, and poor polyurethane are widely used in India for indoor sports, gyms, and fitness arenas. Clay Coats Clay courts are made up of crushed stone, shale or brick and are used in sports, such as the French Open Tournament of Lawn Tennis. They are soft and comfortable, but slow and require high maintenance. Hard coat Hard coats are made up of concrete or asphalt covered with acrylic resins or another coating to seal the surface and provide cushioning effect. They are used in lawn tennis and basketball and are considered relatively fast court surfaces that suit players with big serves and forehands. The most common hard court injuries are knee sprains, ankle sprains, foot injuries, elbow and knee abrasion. Safety gears are recommended and proper warm-up and cool-down before and after training sessions or a game is also recommended to avoid common sports injuries. Number 2. Wearable Gears and Sports Equipments Wearable gears and sports equipments are valuable instruments for the improvement of sports performance. Advanced technology have allowed individual athletes, teams, trainers and coaches to monitor functional movements, workloads and biometric markers to maximize sports performance and minimize sports injuries. Safety gears technology and latest high-tech equipments all are constantly advancing and providing huge benefits to athletes and sports industry. As a result, these sports gears and equipments are helping athletes to perform best in their individual sport. Coaches and trainers use this technology to monitor the athlete's performance and provide them best training experience with minimum chance of injuries. Latest wearable gears and equipments used in sports are Wearable gears There is a wide range of wearable gears used in games and sports by athletes. Some gears are used to monitor movements of athlete and some are used to monitor their physiological parameters while performance. There are other wearable gears used in sports as a safety gears to protect athletes from injuries while training and playing. Number 3. Movement Sensors These are 1. Pedometer Pedometers are small devices that measure the number of steps taken by an individual, usually a portable electronic or electromechanical device. They have a small lever arm with the wrist and hip movements, and there are a wide range of pedometers available such as pocket pedometers, waist, foot, wrist, ankle, and thigh pedometers. These devices are also being used in smartphones by athletes and others to monitor their daily steps. 2. Accelerometer Accelerometer is a tool to measure acceleration of any body or object in its immediate rest frame. Accelerometer sensors are used in many electronic devices, smartphones, and wearable devices. Accelerometer are being used in many wearable sports devices such as wristbands, thigh bands, 
and many other sports gears to monitor performance of athletes. It helps to get data of many movements and physiological parameters like heart rate, calorie expenditure, sleep tracking, and steps count. 3. Global Positioning System GPS. Global Positioning System GPS, devices are an alternative to accelerometers in measuring positional data in athletics. They provide context to strength and conditioning coaches, sports scientists, athletic trainers, and sport coaches to understand and detect fatigue and fitness. GPS devices monitor the training load of each athlete, intensity of sprints, and workload, as well as the speed and position of athletes in football, cross-country, skiing, and field hockey. Number 4. Physiological Sensors Sensors that determine physiologic response to changes in competition and training are known as physiological sensors. These sensors are crucial in promoting and improving performance in sports. It also helps to decrease injuries. Some of physiological sensors which are used in sports are 1. Heart Rate Monitor Heart rate is an important indicator of physiological adaptation and intensity of effort. It is typically used for cardiovascular exercise such as walking, running, hiking, climbing, and skiing. Heart rate monitors are also used to measure the intensity of exercise in various fitness gears such as fitness bands, sports watches, smart watches, chest straps, and gym machineries. 2. Temperature Sensors Temperature sensors help athletes monitor their body temperature and avoid heat-related disorders such as stroke, which is life-threatening. Indoor facilities, air conditions, and hot water are all important factors to consider when playing in high temperatures and humid environments. 3. Sports Watch Fitness Band Sports watch fitness bands are used by many athletes as a top sports gear. These bands are mostly used during training period to monitor time and distance of activity. Physiological parameters such as heart rate, respiratory rate, calories, expenditure, etc. are also monitored by a sports watch. Some high-technology sports watches also track sleep cycle, monitor oxygen level in blood, SpO2, track movement direction, include GPS, temperature sensors, etc. These watches have totally replaced an ordinary watch. Sports watch helps athletes to track their performance level and maintain their training logs which helps to improve their training experience. Safety gears Playing sports without safety gears can be very dangerous. Wearing the proper safety gear reduces the chances of sports injuries. Wearing a proper gear according to sporting event is also very important to reduce the chance of sports injuries. The proper use of protecting equipments is a crucial part of injury prevention in sports. Protective gear, such as helmets, gloves, knee padding, mouth guards, etc. should be appropriately used whenever sports activities are being played. Some of important safety gears used in sports are Helmets Helmets are very essential sports equipment. They are vital for sports activities like football, cricket, baseball, hockey, skating, skiing, cycling, snowboarding, etc. Helmets protect head from getting hit from a ball or another sports equipment. Head injuries are often the most fatal and most difficult to recover from, thus wearing a helmet while playing sports is very essential. Eye protection Eyes are most sensible part of human body. Any mild injury to eyes could lead to a temporary or permanent blindness that is why eye protection is very important while playing. Most protective eye shields are made from a plastic called polycarbonate, which has been used in sports for many years. 
Polycarbonate has high impact resistance, making it useful particularly for sports activities that involve throwing, hitting or kicking of objects, such as ice hockey, softball, swimming, baseball, horse racing and skiing. Even these days our protection is also used by football, volleyball and basketball players in western countries to protect their eyes from injuries. Wrist, Elbow, Knee and Shin Guards Guards are used in sports to protect bones from fractures and other injuries. Sports where there is a contact with other players and chances of direct hit with a ball recommended to wear guards. Sports like soccer, hockey, cricket, baseball, softball etc. use guards to protect from sports injuries. Wearing wrist, elbow, knee, shin, mouth and head guards as per requirement of sports is highly advisable as they eliminate the threat of serious injuries. Wearing a right size guard is most important otherwise they may fail to protect players from serious injuries. Pads Pads are used in various sports like hockey, cricket, football, volleyball, handball, cycling and skateboard etc. There are pads for different parts of the body, pads for shins, elbows, knees, wrists, shoulders, chest etc. It is very common to fall down while playing or get a direct hit with a ball or other equipments. These situations could cause injuries like abrasion, laceration, incision and even fractures that's why it is very important to wear pads while playing. Gloves Gloves are most important safety gear used in sports to protect hand injuries. There are different types of gloves used in sports as per safety and performance requirement. In sports like baseball, cricket, boxing, hockey, football, cycling gloves are used. Sports gloves enables players to execute their movement and grip more easily. It also provides proper support to wrist, increase stability and most importantly protects hands from serious sports injuries. Footwear Footwear is also essential for safety while playing. The correct safety shoes keep athletes from tripping, falling or twisting their feet. Sports like basketball, football, athletics, baseball and softball require specific sports shoes. Skateboarding and biking also require a particular type of footwear, so it is important to wear right kind of footwear that is required for specific sports activity. These footwear helps to protect most common foot injuries such as ankle sprains or strains, helps to absorb playing surface shock and also prevent from other types of soft tissue injuries. Latest Sports Equipments Lead Stumps and Bales Lead Stumps and Bales system is used in cricket. The bales and stumps lead lights flash when the ball hits any one of the stumps. An Australian engineer Bront Eckerman has invented zinc bales. ICC approved the use of the zinc wicket system for international matches in the year 2013. ICC used lead stumps and bales for the first time in an international tournament in ICC World T20 held in Bangladesh after trying it out in Australia's Big Bash League. This system makes easy to judge a run out or stumping during a match and both the teams can have a fair game. Smart Ball Systems Smart balls are a new technology used in sports to improve dead kick technique by providing instant feedback on power, trajectory, spin, and strike accuracy. They use Bluetooth sensor technology and receivers around the field to track the ball's position and send information to a referee's watch-like device or phone. Rackets Rackets are one of the most important instruments in racket sports used for striking a ball or shuttlecock. Wooden rackets were used in the 1960s but were not strong and durable for long-term use. 
In the 1970s different types of materials like fiber, aluminium, steel and wood were used to make rackets. Current racket frames are made up of composite materials such as carbon fiber or fiberglass, metals such as graphite, copper, titanium, aluminium and nylon and polyester material. These materials provide great strength and durability, helping athletes perform better in their sport and experience more power and control in their hand while playing. Ball badminton is used in all games rackets to represent his goals. Technological advancements in sports 1. Hawkeye Hawkeye is a camera system used in many sports such as cricket, football, rugby union, volleyball, athletics and ice hockey to help officials make accurate decisions. It was first used in cricket and has since been used in professional tournaments of many sports, with electronic line calling, ELC, being the most advanced. 2. Video Assistant Referee, VAR VAR is a new generation video technology used in the 2018 FIFA World Cup to assist officials in officiating. It consists of one video assistant referee, three assistants, and four replay operators, providing access to 33 camera feeds and to special offside cameras. This technology is only used in situations where referees have to take game changing decision. 3. Goal Line Technology, GLT Goal Line Technology, GLT, is an electric aid technology used to determine the goal of a football game. It was officially approved by the IFIB in 2012 and was debated in the 2014 FIFA World Cup in Brazil. It uses cameras to capture up to 500 frames per second and send the image to an image processing system. The 3D coordinates of the ball are monitored and when the entire ball crosses the goal line, the camera captures it and sends a signal to the referees, helping officials and referees to make accurate decisions. 4. Fully Automatic Timing System, FAT Fully Automatic Timing, FAT, is a popular type of sports timing system that captures digital race results that are accurate to at least 1 100th of a second, 0.01, but preferably 1 1000th of a second, 0.001. In this race timing system the clock is automatically activated by the starting device and the finish time is either automatically recorded or timed by analysis of a photo finish. The system is commonly used in track and field as well as athletic performance testing, horse racing, bicycle racing, and roving. In these fields a photo finish is used. It is also used in competitive swimming, for which the swimmers themselves record a finish time by touching a touchpad at the end of a race. 5. Hotspot Hotspot is an image sensing system which makes use of infrared cameras to find out if the batsman has nicked the ball. This technology was first introduced in cricket. In this technology, infrared cameras are used. Generally, four infrared cameras are used to record the game continuously. Thermal wave remote sensing principle is used in this hotspot technology. When the ball or bat makes contact with the bat, pad, or the batsman, friction is generated. This friction causes heat. The temperature change is detected by the infrared imaging camera system. This helps to detect the contact zone. Any suspected snake or bat pad event can be verified by examining the infrared image. 6. Snickometer Snickometer technology is used in cricket. It is a very sensitive microphone placed at the stumps and this microphone is connected to an oscilloscope which tracks the sound waves. Snickometer was invented by a computer scientist Alan Plaskett. 
The technology invented in the early 90s and makes use of both the audio and visual evidence to detect any sound. Currently, Snickometer is not the most accurate technologies present but it does the job when combined with hotspot technology. 7. Decision Review System DRS. DRS full form is Decision Review System. The Decision Review System or DRS is a digital technology-based process used by either side in a cricket match to assist either the umpires or referees in their decisions. While on-field test match umpires have been able to refer some decisions to a third umpire since November 1992, the formal DRS system to at play reviews was first used in Test Match in 2008 ODI in January 2011 and T20 in October 2017 8. Spider Cam and Drone Spider Camera and Drone Camera both are fast-growing technological system. Drone cameras and spider cameras are mostly used for outdoor videography. These camera help the photographers to shoot the best pictures from staying static. Spider and drone both are controlled by the joystick. This makes the cameraman to control it by staying in one place. Spider cam and drone is mostly used in the outdoor sports such as cricket, lawn tennis, rugby, football, etc. These camera are used in many international sporting events, IPL, US Open, Australian Open, Rugby World Cup. These cameras has the capability to capture snaps from the top view, side view and in all possible angles. This invention is the great in the field of sports photography which is providing best screening experience to officials and spectators. Career Options in Physical Education The opportunities in the field of physical education were teaching and training only till 1990. There are ample employment opportunities for train the people in the field of physical education due to increase in interest towards it and increase in more activities. There are two types of career options in physical education. The first kind is related to teaching and training of physical education. These are called traditional careers also. The second kind is related to the careers when emerge out of it, related to health, management, sports performance and media. Their descriptions are as follow. Number 1. Teaching career in physical education and sports. A. Primary Schools, I to V. There should be physical education teacher in primary schools to teach basic skills and physical activities in an efficient manner. Physical education helps in all-round development of children who become creative, their self-confidence boosts, and they progress meaningfully. So, children should learn different activities, running, jumping, throwing, catching, kicking, etc. B. Middle schools, 6 to 8. Even in middle schools there are lots of opportunities for the teachers of physical education. But these are only in big cities where they are related to CBSE. In these schools, there are different syllabus for the students of classes 6, 7 and 8. But in government schools, this subject is just for formality. Even in some schools, the teachers of physical education are forced to do other work also. See, high schools, 9 to X. There are lots of opportunities in the field of physical education in government or private schools. In these schools, the teachers have to make children do theory as well as practical work. Apart from this, teams are prepared for inter-school competitions. D. Senior Secondary Schools, 11 to 12. In these schools, job opportunities in the field of physical education are galore. The teachers make student to do theory and practical work. The teachers have to maintain discipline as well. 
they have to prepare team for inter school competitions e colleges and universities higher education these are various professional courses in physical education like certificate in physical education cp.ed diploma course d.p.ed bachelor degree b.p.ed master degree mped m.phil phd within physical education and sports number 2 coaching career in physical education and sports there are job opportunities available in the field of physical education as coaches trainers because training develops the confidence dedication and team spirit in players coaches help the players to get success they are ideal for players on field and outside the field these opportunities are available both in schools and sports clubs a coach is required in a school to train students in the field of physical education a coach can be appointed only for coaching a team in colleges and universities coaches are required to train different teams for various competitions apart from this there are coaching jobs available in sports clubs hotels professional team social parks and government sector number 3 health related careers in the modern world people are becoming more aware of their health related issues and are in high demand for health clubs these clubs provide physical education and job opportunities and offer activities such as squash tennis swimming saunas steam rooms and massage customers are also encouraged to follow their activities diet and nutrition to achieve their goals physiotherapist they treat the players prolonged diseases pain and injuries they are also experts in treatment and rehabilitation dietitian they suggest the diet elements to increase the health and performance of players they can work as the professional dietitian of national and international teams gyms and clubs sports psychologist they set up a relationship between the healthy mind and body of players they treat the problems such as anxiety stress and low confidence level by observing the performance of players number 4 career in field of physical education and sports administration Sports management is an important field for increased sports participation and business. In India, management and administration are taught as a subject at both UG and PG levels and administrators are required in areas related to teaching such as sports programs. In western countries, colleges and universities offer undergraduate and postgraduate degrees in sports management. while in india it is still in its infancy the explanation of the departments of physical education is as follows a physical education and sports department there are many job opportunities available related to management in sports departments the post of director of sports is available in each university The director is held responsible for management of sports for men and women and for the organization of sports. He also supervises the work of trainers and assistant trainers. He should have a sound knowledge of all the rules and regulations. The director is held responsible for fixing dates for sports competitions, management of officials, lodging and boarding of players, preparing sports transport and budget etc in sport department of each state there are various administrative posts assistant professor district sports officers sports director assistant director etc apart from this the coaches of various games and sports and other officials work under his administration in western countries There are also intramurals or campus recreation programs. In these programs, the faculty members besides schools take part in it. 
Their main aim is to promote participation. Their responsibilities are the same as in some other sports departments. B. Industrial Recreation Nowadays, many multinational and national companies are providing opportunities to their staff members to take part in recreational activities. These companies are paying attention to the fitness, health and wellness of their employees. It enhances to the working capacity of their employees. It, in turn, leads to increase in productivity, which increases the profit of the company. So, these companies demand the people who have professional capabilities and abilities. These capable people can give instructions related to physical activities to their employees. These people can also pay attention to the employee's wellness and fitness. This profession also has some responsibilities, such as making teams, establishing a program, making a timetable of program, etc. C. Sports Facility Management There are organizations which they provide facilities to people to recreate themselves and to keep themselves hale and hearty. In today's world, everyone wants to be physically fit. So, they go to gymnastic clubs, health clubs, sports house, stadiums, swimming pools, etc. These areas need facility managers. The manager of sports facilities can carry out all the responsibilities by himself or he can keep some staff under his instructions. His main responsibility is to make sure the safety the people availing of these facilities. He is to be sure that the equipment is as per standard norms. He should also take care of the safety of the people and spectators visiting there. There are many opportunities increasing in this field. 5. Performance-Related Careers The performance-related careers are as follows. A. As players Players take part at various levels in India, including inter-college, inter-school, district level, state level, national, international level and in Olympics. Scholarships are given to good players and various government and non-government companies offer job opportunities. In Western countries, various players in 10 years of their profession career in baseball, basketball, football, hockey, cricket, tennis, etc. earn much more money than the players who work lifelong in their jobs. Martina Navratilova, tennis player, earns $2 million per year through commercial advertisements, and Bill Jean King is the first women tennis player who have won 1 lakh tons per year. Cricket also increases in India like MS Dhoni and Virat Kohli. B. As officials Good management of any sports of games depends upon efficient and talented officials. A player plays and performs for 10 or less years. Afterwards, these players make their careers as officials because they have come to learn about the game thoroughly. So, the job opportunities are part-time or full-time as officials, referee, umpire, timekeeper, recorder, scorer, etc. Their requirement depends on the competitions to be held every year. It is also a good job opportunity related to sports. The former players after their careers as player over can also make their careers by becoming officials. If players after their retirement become officials, they should have sound knowledge of their respective games and sports. A good sports official should do his work efficiently and in a good manner. Number 6. Careers in Communication Media The various means of communication, TV, radio, newspaper, magazine, etc. have contributed a lot in covering sports events and promoting them far and worldwide. TV channels, star sports, star cricket, 10 sports, etc. give sports coverage round the clock. A. Sports Journalism Sports journalism is a career path for anyone with the ability to write, 
explain, and tell truth to players and officials. It requires a sound background of physical education, knowledge of language, rules, and truth-telling skills. Sports correspondents can work in unison with different newspapers and magazines to cover sports events. B. Book Writing Books on physical education are quite less in India. So, there are more opportunities of writing. If a person has sound knowledge of sports biomechanics, sports sociology, sports medicine, exercise physiology, research methods, sports psychology, sports philosophy, sports pedagogy, sports management, etc., he can write books and make his career. But he should have taste for writing, concentration, focus, deep knowledge, etc. See Sports Photography This career is suitable for those people who are keen to click the photographs of sports events. But they must be highly skilled in sports photography. They can get excellent opportunities in working with sports magazines and journals. But the sports photography required patience. They should know the best angle for taking photographs. They should have sound knowledge of projections, trajectory, and other important terms in the field of photography. D. Book Publishing Book publishing is also a good option in the field of physical education. But the book publisher should have sound knowledge of physical education and its subdisciplines, health education, recreation, and other related subjects. For such work, one needs the knowledge of physical education, writing, and other related skills. Some people are required in sales area. Their duty is to sell books across the country. For this, they should have the knowledge of physical education and the price for the books available in market. They should have the understanding of market and sales. So, one can make a career in book publishing as well. E. Sports Broadcasting Sports broadcasting has become a popular career, and a career can be made in this field. A reporter should have sound knowledge of sports, an excellent appealing voice, skills, rules, and other related disciplines. They should also have excellent speaking skills and knowledge of all sports, as well as the background of each player. F. Marketing of sports equipment With the increase in interest for sports, health and physical activities there is also an increase in the sale of sports equipment. Now, companies hire people who have knowledge of physical activities and can endorse sports equipment keeping in mind the needs and demand of sports equipment in today's changing world. A consumer expects a salesman to be an expert in all sports equipment. Salesmen should have the knowledge of the needs of customers and knowledge of sports equipment. Yeah. The career opportunities are galore because there is more interest for physical activities, sports, and fitness. G. Sports Industry There are lots of opportunities for making a career in sports industry. Sports equipment and clothes are always in demand so that players can perform better during complication and practice. A player can establish sports industry at low level. It can be related to t-shirts, track suits, and shoes. But one should have the knowledge of designs as well. As few years ago athletes used loose shorts but now they used skin fit because it decreases the air resistance. So, we can say that in the field skin fit shorts keep the athletes more fit and agile in compared to the earlier time. Hello India and Fit India Program the importance of sports and fitness in one's life is invaluable. Playing sports inculcates team spirit, develops strategic and analytical thinking, leadership skills, goal setting, and risk taking. A fit and healthy individual leads to an equally healthy society and strong nation. Sports is an extremely important component for the overall development of our nation. 
India, in the last five years, has made steady progress in the field of sports. This tremendous potential needs to be showcased at a global platform. It's time we inspire young talent, give them top-notch, infrastructure, and training of the highest level. We need to inculcate a strong spirit of participation in sports that enables players to demonstrate their true potential. Only then can India realize its dream of becoming a sports superpower. The Khelo India program has been introduced, 2018, to revive the sports culture in India at the grassroots level by building a strong framework for all sports played in our country and establish India as a great sporting nation. To accomplish the above objectives, Khelo India program has been divided into 12 verticals, namely, Khelo India program. 1. Play field development. 2. Community coaching development. 3. State level Khelo India centers. 4. Annual sports competitions. 5. Talent Search and Development Program 6. Utilization and Creation Upgradation of Sports Infrastructure 7. Support to National Regional State Sports Academics 8. Physical Fitness of School Children 9. Sports for Women 10. Promotion of Sports Amongst People with Disabilities 11. Sports for Peace and Development and 12. Promotion of Rural and Indigenous Tribal Games History of Khelo India Program Khelo India Program was initiated by Exports Minister Colonel Rajavradhan Singh Rathol. On 31st January 2018, Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated Khelo India School Games at the opening ceremony based on Gurushisha tradition held at Indira Gandhi Arena. Selection Criteria Only selected school kids below the age of 17 years are eligible to compete in the individual sports. Top 8 Sports Person from the School Games Federation of India's National School Games 4 Nominations from Federation 1 from Central Board of Secondary Education 1 from the Host State and 1 from the Organizing Committee will be selected. For archery, badminton and shooting, the top 16 from the National School Games, 8 nominations by the Federation, 1 from CBSE, 1 from Host State, 1 from Organizing Committee, and 6 from Wild Cards will be selected. Aim of the Khelo India Program To make popular the rural, indigenous and the tribal sport games to disseminate information, and pike the curiosity of the present generation about these games and also to encourage children and youth to take up these games in a major way, paving way for their mainstreaming. Objective of Schemes To encourage, promote and popularize the indigenous sports and games and those played in the rural and tribal areas of the country. Fit India Program Fit India Movement is a nationwide fitness movement launched by our Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi on 29 August 2019 in Indira Gandhi Stadium, New Delhi. This program was launched on the occasion of National Sports Day which is celebrated on birthday of hockey wizard Major Dhyan Chand. This movement is started by the Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports, Government of India to promote health, fitness and wellness within people of our nation by adding physical activities and sports in their regular lifestyle. The main mission of this movement is to bring behavioral changes and more physically active lifestyle among citizens of India. Fit India proposes to undertake various initiatives and conduct events to achieve the following objectives. To promote fitness as easy, fun and free for everyone. To spread awareness on fitness and various physical activities that promote fitness through focused campaigns. To encourage indigenous sports. To make fitness reach every school, college, university, panchayat, village, etc. 
to create a platform for citizens of India to share information, drive awareness and encourage sharing of personal fitness stories. Fit India School Week The Department of Sports, Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports in collaboration with Department of School Education and Literacy, MO Education, started Fit India School Week in 2019. It is a flagship program of the Fit India Mission, where physical fitness is taught and practiced apart from homes. Under this program, School are suggested to celebrate four to six days of a week dedicated to fitness, with a surge in attendance from December 2020 to January 2021. In the second edition, more than 4.3 lakh schools reported the celebrations, with 15,000 in the first edition. To promote and encourage Fit India movement in our country, our Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi said that Fit India movement should become a national goal and its aspiration. In an effort to inspire the nation, the Prime Minister also said that Fit India movement may have been started by the government but it is the people who have to lead it and make it a success.